Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get custom graph and chart colors in Microsoft Excel. This might not be as straightforward as you think. So if you were to go and click on your graph or chart, go to the design tab, you'll see this change colors option. And this will only give us the selection that is here. There are a few more down there, but if you want custom colors, I'll be showing you how to do that today. So here's the example pie chart I've got in front of us. The key to doing it is in the key or the legend down at the bottom here. So if this is not selected, I'll show you how to bring that up. Basically, you'd want to go to add chart element, legend, and then put it somewhere on the graph or chart. So you can do this whatever graph or chart you've got, whether it's a pie chart, a line graph, or whatever else it could be. So we'll choose bottom, and you can now see we've got all of the colors here. So because it's a pie chart, you could do it by clicking on the actual piece of the pie. However, depending on the graph or chart you're using, that might only select one portion, whereas you'd need the color to be on multiple portions if you've got like a waterfall chart, for example, which I'll show you in a minute. But for most graphs and charts, the way you want to do it is to go to the legend here, click on it once, and then double click on one of the colors, go to the fill and line section, and choose the color to an orange for example. It'll move it to solid fill and you can change the transparency as well. So you can do that for any of the options here by clicking on it and then double clicking and you can choose the color to whatever you'd like it to be. So here's another example. We've got a waterfall chart. So the difference in this example would be the selections here. If we were to double click on just this one box and then change the color, it would just change the color of that box individually and not all of the increases like we'd want it to. That's why we're going to use the legend to do it and we'll choose it back as green. And that's it. So a nice and simple tutorial. It can be quite difficult. You might have seen other ways to do it. You can change it in the overall page themes, but that would change the colors of the entire sheet. So it would change these blues here as well. So that's the best way in my opinion of doing it. And if you've got any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Remember to leave a like if the video helped and feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.